This is Showtime Sean Porter. Exactly. This is Earl Spin Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. See man, uh, in in a perfect world, Rick, because I know you're like you're in the you're 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 on you're on the inside, and you you kind of deal with these movers and shakers in boxing. Uh, like like who do, who 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 do you think Canelo should fight next in a perfect world? What, what's the fight? To be made? Fight uh, Yadim, the mandatory in uh, February. Yul you mean Yildirim, Avni Yildirim? Yildirim, yes, okay. in, in uh, February, and then he should deal. He should in May. He should fight Billy Joe Saunders. And then in September, he should fight, um, I would say, you know, I would say it's probably plant. They unify another belt. Um, and, you know, I just think that that's the way to go myself. Okay. You know, I, I know I know. me and you were talking about this the other day, but, you know, there, there's another guy that, that, that you didn't mention. I know you don't like him too much, but, uh, you know, Demetrius Andre, he might be fighting I mean, Billy no, Joe. He, he brings no commercial value to anything. <laughs> Please. I know you're going to say that, but I'm just saying he might he might be fighting Billy Joe Saunders next, and if he if he goes in there and he... he he's... If, 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 if... That's great. That's great if it happens, but I think Billy Joe Saunders is smart enough to hold out for a... Uh, a Canelo fight. I'm sure they're going to be talking to Canelo's people and mm -hmm. saying can Billy Joe Saunders be up the bat and Andre will be left on the on the pine bench again. Yeah. Well, uh, ho ho yeah. Hopefully, just for the sake of you know, I know I know boxing's a business, you know, first, but we want to see that Demetrius Andre Billy Joe Saunders fight so, so we can see who who earns the right to fight Canelo Alvarez because you know we we want to see Canelo in a tough fight in fights that are going to test him. Why 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 would why would what's his name do that? Billy Joe? Yeah, he's a He failed a drug know. test. He failed a drug test and was supposed to fight Demetrius Andrade, so they have they have unfinished business as far as I'm concerned. Okay, well you're you're not handling Billy Joe Saunders, so Oh I'm not. Why why would he fight Andrade when he can go fight Canelo and he, and he's got the same he's got he's got no he doesn't have a shot. He probably doesn't beat uh, Andrade and he and he definitely won't beat Canelo, but he'll get ten, twelve million, let's say ten million. Well, the, if you fought the other guy, you'd get like three million. Yeah. So, well, the thing is, if you're Billy, if you're Billy Joe, you can't you can't sit sit around and twiddle your thumbs and hope that Canelo picks you. I mean, no, he won't hope. They'll they'll make a deal now. In other words, they'll make a deal and say, hey, we I'm, we're gonna fight you, G. That's easier. In May, we're get, get ready. We're fighting you in May. They're, they're not sitting around. You know, you you don't what you don't realize is May's only five months away now. Yeah, I know. Less than five months. Well, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, exactly. Four, four really, four months, right? A couple, another two, another ten days, nine, nine days. It'll be four months, correct? Because you, you know, it's, it'll be the first weekend in May, so correct. Yeah. So, so like, it's not that far. So he'll fight in February against yeah, 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 yeah over in, uh, in probably down in Mexico. Um, it'll probably be a, a, a two fight deal with his own that, mm -hmm. and then we'll do the Billy Billy Joe Saunders fight in May, and then he can go to play Caleb Plant, and he can be the unified uh, super middleweight champ. Absolutely, that, that that'd be that'd be a good that'd be a good um that'd be a good twenty twenty one. What what, yeah. what 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 do you think? Yeah, I know I know you don't like him, but like what what what, what would Demetrius Andrew have to do to get that Canelo fight from your perspective? Like. What would he have to do? Nothing. He can't do anything to get that fight. No, he not he can't. unless he's the mandatory and and uh, and when he called says you know he's not strong enough to fight me physically I'll walk through him something like that. But I mean you know Canelo beats him, but it's an ugly fight. He doesn't bring any money to the table. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know if Canelo beats him. That's what I, I want to see the fight. And you don't think Canelo beats him? I mean, he I mean he has the judges, but I'm just saying like I I, don't, I think it's one I of the forget about having judges. He doesn't beat him. He's too physically strong, tenacious, and he's very fast in his own right, and and, and he knows how to fight. He knows how to fight better than Demetrius Andre does. Well, the, the thing is, Rick, when you look at the, the, the last four or five fighters yeah. Canelo's fought, they're not really like, well, they're, not, they're all fighters who, who, who had their feet set, and Canelo can set the pace of the fight. Well, when but, he gets hit with the first two body shots, Andrade will be either having his feet set because he won't be able to move, or he'll be running around the ring at a high rate of speed. It'll get leg get laughed out of the joint. 
It's one of the two things. That's well, may- maybe, but I want, I want, to, I want to see it. Canelo got to show me because I'm not buying it. There, there's no public demand for Demetrius Andrade and um, and Canelo and Demetrius Andrade. There's no public demand for that fight. Nobody's asking for that fight but you. Well, no, there's a, there's a handful of people because I, I I actually a handful handful <laughs> we're dealing with we're dealing with a, a fight that has to sell. And and what do you call it? Okay, and hopefully put asses in the seats. And that ain't put nobody in the seats. Nobody's gonna get excited. No, nobody. No, my my my. I always go by my three brother in laws. My wife's my my wife's um, brother mm-hmm. and and my and my and my my two sisters. Yeah, casual friends. So and I go by them. Why? Because they're they're all three of them are good wage earners. They're all general sports fans and they enjoy boxing. Okay. And when they've never heard of a fighter, okay, then he has no commercial value. Okay, so he, they've never heard of a Demetrius Andrade. Have they heard of okay? Avni? But have they heard? Have they heard of Avni Ildrum? No, but that's that's just a <laughs> mandatory stay busy fight in Mexico. That's not a big fight. You're confusing issues now. You're, we're, we're talking about prime dates. On Memorial, on um, on uh, Cinco de Mayo, you know the two Mexican holiday weekends. Yeah, it's a big, and, big and the weekend. first weekend in May and the first and the second weekend in uh, September, mm-hmm. and those are going to be the big fights. Which we, this year is going to be guys who hold titles. And that will be, um, that'll be uh, I think Billy Joe Saunders and then Plant, I believe. And then uh, in the meantime, if Adrati becomes a number one contender, I'm sure what's his name would fight him. All right. Hopefully he does. Okay, but the, but there's no if he's not number one and he holds no belt, then he's not going to fight him. But he had a belt. No he, he had a belt at fifty four and sixty, and he never fought him. And then now he's at sixty eight. And because 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 he was inexperienced at the time. You're talking about a different Canelo. Do not confuse the Canelo or the Pat. Just like I said uh, on um, on Twitter, and I said to a guy the other night. Okay, the guy who fought. Uh, uh, GGG twice mm-hmm. would now wreck GGG. I, I agree with that. Guy. I agree with that. Right. Okay. So it, 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 this is a different guy now. You were talking about a guy, a guy who's a little on the green side. I mean, he's really matured into a complete fighter. You know, thinking, always thinking in there, and, and, and parrying his punches, and you know, just everything. Just every he's doing things beautifully. You can't there's you know, stuff that's like on you know, instinctive. Yeah. Now, you know, it's a completely different fighter. Let's not get confused with the same fighter that fought Lara and the same fighter. No, no, he's not he, he's definitely not that guy anymore. I, I for me, like right. even even if it's not an Andrade, I mean I, I want I would like to see it be Andrade because I feel like that's the toughest style match out there for him. But aside from him, I mean, even like a plant I think a plant would be a good fight just because I wanna I I wanna see Canelo in there with somebody who who can move around. Right. Plant gets wrecked. No, he wrecked. Yeah, t- I think towards the back half of the fight, he would get wrecked, yeah. Like, maybe, like, around the 7th or 8th. Because he always fades around that part of the fight anyway. Even when he's... He fading early when he gets hit with those body shots early. <laughs> well, what, let me tell you something about getting hit with body shots. Oh, I know one about of, getting... I know about it. One I'll, of two things happens. You either get froze in your tracks and your legs can't carry you, mm-hmm. and you get left standing in front of the guy, or... You get hit hard enough where you're smart enough to get out. You still got your legs, but you're smart enough to get out of the way and keep moving, oh, and you never see the other fighter again. So one of the two things will happen, you know. You know, and I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not exactly uh, 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 clam. Not only do I clamor to see uh, Andrade fight, uh, I don't think he's got the biggest ticker in the world. So that's my opinion. <laughs> what do you mean, like as far as his brain? No. Ticker is heart. Oh, his heart. Yeah, I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's got a, such a big heart. Because if he said such a big heart, he would have stepped in with Luke Keeler about the first round and started trying to take him out instead of dancing around and playing playing footsie with fucking Luke Keeler. You were there ringside. I was there. He dropped them yeah. once in the first and once in the second. Well, that's what I'm saying. Then yeah. all of a sudden, he, he he didn't do anything the rest of the fight. Demetrius Andrade. Yeah, that's my point. That's my point. Thank you. He's yeah. not the bravest guy. He's one. He might. He must have got hit there early on with one shot and said, "Oh, motherfucker, this guy can punch." You know, 
That's just the, the facts. I mean, yeah. why would you not step in when the guy's a wounded duck unless you were already injured once when the guy, you were, you were a little buzzed from the guy. Not injured, but buzzed. I don't know. Makes no sense, right? I don't know. The, the, the only way for me to know is, is to talk to him. I, I don't know what his perspective was on why he didn't go f- put the exclamation point of the fight. not a come forward fighter he doesn't move laterally he backs up he slips around you and it's, it's like watching paint dry every round's the same but he's winning most of them I'm not questioning that yeah. he's undefeated yeah. he should be winning most of them he won, so he's won all of them but that doesn't mean people want to see the guy absolutely not you know? right yeah. I mean listen as good as Howard Davis Jr. was people weren't clamoring to see him no, nah, they weren't. No, he had the same style, well, uh, but I, he was right-handed. When I talked to you on the phone the other day, I, I mentioned um, I mentioned Michael Nunn, and I said they had similar styles. And I asked you, do you, do you did you think Michael Nunn was boring? And you said, hell yeah, he was boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to see that stuff. People want to, unless you're watching a guy like a Bernal Whitaker or a Spat of Four, who's completely like. It like hypnotizes you in there and it's like you're watching inc- something incredibly great nobody wants to watch that slick shit and moving around and subtle you know it's terrible shit to watch I mean some people some people like it there is an audience out there for it but yeah the, the casual sports fan probably doesn't like the slick stuff no listen I like I like fighters that are artistic that show artistry in there and stuff like that but they're throwing punches too and they're not running around the ring at a high rate of speed. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, you give me one good reason why, after he knocked Keeler down a couple times, he just boxed around the ring. I mean, the, the only reason I can think of is maybe he had a hand injury or maybe he tore his rotator cuff. I don't know. That... No, he never said he did. Never well, said he had an injury. Never said he had a rotator cuff. He well, just I'm sucked. just saying, no, he doesn't suck. Uh, how can you how could how could you accomplish everything he has in the professional ranks and in the amateurs and stuff? It doesn't mean you're co- you're comparing ability compared to an entertainment value. He's got no entertainment value. Well, I never said and he's got no commer- Wait, he's got no commercial uh, 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 you know resolve to use him. In other words, he brings no additional dollars to the table. You know, you know. Listen, I always, I put it up once a month on Twitter. Okay, please. Listen. Will they pay to see him? The answer is no. Okay, then he has no commercial value. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He he doesn't bring anything to the but, table that anybody wants. But if Canelo, if Canelo's the face of boxing, like Canelo, Canelo just uh, just just by his star power is gonna is gonna carry the event on his own. You still need somebody. You still need somebody to fight. That people want to see, and that oh, the guy has a title, a title, and, and he doesn't have a title. If he had a title, I could see it well, definitely. He does that. That's why. That's why I see Billy Joe Saunders happening. That's why I see uh, a plant happening because they got titles. Okay, if it, 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 plant doesn't happen, that's because Heyman still still is, is, is being an obstructionist. So we'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see how it shakes out.